There's another layer to Idaho's lieutenant governor appearing at a conference held by known white nationalists and anti-Semites. Last week, the America First Political Action Conference, or AFPAC, played a video message from Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan. AFPAC was organized by Nick Fuentes, a known anti-Semite, Holocaust denier, misogynist, white nationalist, who's been kicked off of various social media platforms for his views. The conference featured several others who share Nick's far-right and anti-Semitic sentiments. When asked about it this week, Lieutenant Governor McGeehan claimed she did not know anything about Nick Fuentes, and besides, who cares what he has to say? Well, a lot of people do, like Idahoans who happen to be Jewish. Ironically, the other layer of Lieutenant Governor choosing to be part of this conference has been laid bare by our own Jewish community. Rabbi Dan Fink has been the leader of Beth Israel Congregation since 1994. So he's been kind of the go-to guy when it comes to things like Jewish holidays, traditions, and unfortunately, anti-Semitism. Which might explain why Lieutenant Governor McGeehan sent him a letter back in January asking for his help in defining and dealing with anti-Semitism in the gem state. She would welcome, she wrote, the opportunity to assist with any task force developed to fight anti-Semitism in the city of Boise as well as throughout the state of Idaho. She included a letter she sent to Governor Little back in October and an interview she did with the Intermountain Christian News as evidence of her sincerity. But Rabbi Fink says the letter was pretty vague and didn't appear to lay out any sort of plan, just that if there was ever a task force created, she would like to be a part of it. Rabbi Fink says his first inclination was to respond, well, in anger, as in the nerve of the lieutenant governor had to invite him to a conference on anti-Semitism, he told us today, when she courts far-right extremists whose ideology is rooted in anti-Semitism, he said. But because the Talmud tells us we should judge people with an inclination towards innocence, Rabbi Fink says he took a couple of breaths and a couple of days to write a brief response and hand deliver it to the lieutenant governor's office on January 25th, basically saying, I appreciate the invitation, but there's some things we need to talk about first. Well, 10 days passed and he heard nothing from the lieutenant governor. So he says he wrote another letter, this one a little more thoughtful, a little more to it, a little more critical of McGeehan's original invitation, but still with the invitation to have a conversation about these concerns that he was having. Rabbi Fink says this whole postal correspondence came to a hypocritical head last week. There were a number of things about it that troubled me. You know, first and foremost, the, her, her invitation was a kind of rant uh, against the political left. In her letter, Rabbi Fink says Lieutenant Governor McGeehan defined anti-Semitism as anyone who was critical of Israel. But he says that's not how he sees anti-Semitism playing out here. You know, the anti-Semitism that we're dealing with in this state is overwhelmingly from far-right white nationalist groups. Failing to mention that faction, Rabbi Fink says, her letter seemed profoundly unbalanced and political by also claiming Governor Little failed to condemn anti-Semitism. So it became very clear to me reading her letter that she was really looking to use anti-Semitism as a kind of wedge issue in her political campaign uh, against the governor. So I, I wrote all of that in my letter. I, I sent it off uh, and heard back nothing for a month. And then Rabbi Fink received this in the mail, a longer letter from the lieutenant governor, but one basically asking the same thing. Can we join to define, expose, and call out anti-Semitism? But it was also completely tone deaf to the concerns that I had raised in my, in my letter to her. And the I letter arrived February 25th. I'm Janice McGeehan, Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Idaho. The same day, McGeehan appeared virtually at AFPAC. And keep up the good work fighting for our country. You know, the, the contrast between the act of sending a letter to a rabbi to say, I want to help you combat anti-Semitism and going to speak to this group was so incredibly jarring. The dissonance was so extraordinary. Uh, I both hurt and at some level had to laugh because it was, it was surreal. What does that make you think about her intentions or what this is all about? You know, there's a teaching in my tradition uh, which is to say, what you do counts a lot more than what you say. You know, to me, uh, her invitation is, is farcical because 
I want to, we judge people by what they do in the world. And you are the company that you keep. Uh, she wasn't coerced to sending a message to that group. And it was either unbelievably ignorant to not know who they were, or she knew who they were, which is what I strongly suspect, because who, atta who, who accepts an invitation to, to deliver a message to a group without having any idea who they are? The, the word I would use is chutzpah, <laughs> that you would have the chutzpah to reach out to me and say, help me on anti-Semitism while going out and glorying in <laughs> the presence of anti-Semites is extraordinary. That's how this struck me. We did reach out to the lieutenant governor's office today to see if she had any comment about where, what Rabbi Fink has said about this invitation that she supposedly sent to him. We have not heard back from her. Rabbi Fink says he hasn't heard from the lieutenant governor since he got that letter last Friday either, since her appearance at AFPAC. If she does reach out, he told us, he would ask her to sit down and have a real conversation about actual anti-Semitism, the kind that explains why on Friday nights and Saturday mornings, when people show up to synagogue or on Wednesday evenings for school, why they have hired an armed off-duty Boise police officer for security. They do it, Rabbi Fink says, because the reality is in the United States of America right now, Jewish institutions have been under attack with those attacks having become amplified over the last few years. He says if the lieutenant governor would really listen and really hear that, she wouldn't think twice about going to a conference where she appears to be courting white nationalists.